Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, do black holes grow? In the newborn early universe, black holes may have grown incredibly rapidly. This also could help us explain why they appear so early in the universe's history. Black holes also possess a very large gravitational pull. Not even light can escape their clutches. It is genuinely believed that these supermassive black holes are created when massive stars go through massive explosions, known as supernovas. This means that the incredibly dense core of these stars become even more dense objects with the crushing gravitational pull of a black hole. Supermassive black holes are mainly located at the centre of most, if not all, galaxies. These objects can be millions to billions of times larger than the mass of our Sun. These large black holes have existed since the early years of the universe, some 800 million years after the Big Bang. This has always been a bit of a mystery to astronomers. These giant black holes have grown significantly very large in such a small amount of time. Looking at the universe today, we can see that black holes have accretion disks, and this can limit the speed of growth. Accretion disks are disks around the black hole full of gas and dust. These disks can be due to just general waste around the galaxy, or it could be stars that are ripped apart that travel too close to the black hole. The dust and gas that swirl into the black hole can prevent the black hole from growing rapidly in two different ways. First, as matter in the accretion disk gets closer to the black hole, traffic jams occur that slow down the infalling material. And secondly, as the matter collides within these jams, it heats up through friction. This in turn generates radiation that drives the gas and dust away from the black hole. The gas or dust can be in a stable orbit around a black hole. This also includes stars as well. This is basically the same principle as the Earth revolves around the Sun without falling into it. It's just simply in a stable orbit. This also makes you think of how the gas or other material can actually fall into a black hole efficiently. For the black hole to actually grow, it must fall in at quite a high rate to have rapid growth. Scientists have began to model a black hole about 10 times the mass of our Sun embedded in a cluster of thousands of stars. This experiment was to show how black holes could actually grow. They fed the simulated black hole continuous flows of dense cold gas. The early universe was much smaller and therefore much denser on average than it is today. They found out that this cold, dense gas obscured a substantial amount of this radiation. This, in turn, was the radiation that was given off by matter falling into the black hole. They also noticed that the gravitational pull of the surrounding stars made the black hole move around randomly and this motion prevents the formation of the draining effect on the accretion disk. So this actually means that the matter does fall into the black hole from all sides, instead of getting forced into the disk around the black hole. So this means getting forced into the disk of the black hole would mean that it swirls in far more slowly. This experiment actually proved that the model of the black hole that was 10 times the size of our Sun could have grown to 10 billion times the mass of our Sun in just 1 billion years after the Big Bang. This actually gives a result of the formation of supermassive black holes in the early universe. This means that we can use this theoretical result to look into supermassive black holes in the modern times of the universe. But this theory does state that the early universe is perfect for these supermassive black holes. This is because of the gas formations may have only existed in a short time in the early universe. The early universe was also very dense and had very big star formation clusters. 
But to be honest, in the universe that we live in, past, present or future, you can never really predict what objects are still there and still work. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how black holes grow, and as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you really, really, really enjoyed it, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.